things off just a little bit. Ever wonder how a cool gyro cam shot comes to life? Most of us probably don't think twice about clever camera angles when watching a car race. But there's a lot of behind the scenes work that happens to make sure each shot goes off without a hitch. On a normal track, you can come in there two or three days beforehand and lay all the fiber in. So we have a big crew, they come in, they work very late that night. Peter Larson knows the setup like the back of his hand. As general manager of Broadcast Sports Inc. in Hanover, Maryland, he's been working with in-car cameras for auto racing since the early 80s. Back then, the technology had just got to the point where the equipment could fit into a race car. Now the cameras are mounted into the cars themselves. We were on hand as this race car was prepped for the Baltimore Grand Prix. It had three barely discernible HD cameras on board, a remotely controlled 360 degree camera on top, a second one by the driver's side mirror, and a third known as a rear wing camera. And yes, they're all designed to withstand the rigors of track racing. It's a very tough environment that the, that the cameras have to deal with. Andy Euling is the engineering manager at BSI. He and his staff design all the mechanical equipment, cameras and parts needed for a big race. We do a very specialized thing, so you can't buy a lot of what we need off the shelf. For example, this aluminum transmitter receiver that was designed in-house is now going through an automated milling machine at BSI. They'll mass produce them for their clients. We've invested in CNC mills and lathes to build all the mechanical hardware that we need. And uh, back in the old days, our production runs used to be three. Now we do a hundred of each piece. And their camera shop is just as busy with technicians making repairs and assessing each camera's motor functions after a weekend's race. They come in Sunday night, first thing Monday morning, and then the guys here strip them down, clean them up, repair any damage that's done to them and get them ready to go out the following weekend. Mechanical engineer Mike Sarton, who works on the NASCAR series, says cars without cameras must carry a dummy weight. This helps level the playing field. He thinks the future of in-car camera technology is wide open. As our equipment gets smaller, uh, as it gets lighter, and we can integrate it into more places, so you'll, you'll be able to get those shots that you wouldn't ever think that you'd be able to get. With a staff of over 150 people and a travel schedule that keeps them busy year-round, BSI's 55,000 square foot headquarters is like a mini command center with 13 mobile units. They've covered every major sporting event over the past 30 years using the latest in cutting-edge technology. When they're not able to take their mobile units out on the road, they have something called BSI in a box. That's where they take all of the equipment from the mobile unit and place it in boxes, several of them, pack it up, ship it out, and it's shock mounted so that nothing gets destroyed. And if you take a look over here, you'll see a slew of equipment. That's because they're getting ready for a big event. We're very, very lucky that we uh, picked up a contract with the Winter Olympics in Sochi. Uh, mm -hmm. And because it's in Russia, uh, all the equipment has to be shipped months before the actual event. Larson believes the sky's the limit when it comes to the future of onboard camera technology. BSI has been at the forefront of this innovative industry and will continue to give viewers their best shot from any and every angle imaginable. Yeah!